Hey everyone, I'm Ian Baker, and today we're gonna answer a question I often hear, which is, how long will my propane last? Or sometimes I hear, my propane didn't even last through the weekend. Do I have a propane leak? Well, after this video, that won't be you asking those questions, because you'll understand just how much propane you have and how to figure out how long your propane will last, or rather, how quickly it can go. Portable RV propane tanks are DOT certified versions of the ones designed for backyard barbecues. Portable propane tanks are typically used with travel trailers, fifth wheels, and truck campers to operate your RV furnace, water heater, refrigerator, stovetop, and oven. The most common portable propane tank sizes are 5 gallon and 7 gallon, which are often referred to as 20 and 30 pound tanks respectively. Portable propane tanks are refillable, or you can simply exchange your empty for a full one. For our little demonstration and easy math, I'm going to use a single 30-pound propane tank. To start, it's important to know how much propane is available in the cylinder. You may be saying, well Ian, it's a 30-pound tank, so I'd imagine 30 pounds, and I like where your head's at. However, most propane tanks can only be filled to 80% to allow for expansion, and in fact, most have an overfill valve preventing it from being filled any more than that for your safety. Now, like most gases, propane expands and contracts with heat. As it gets cold outside, propane actually gets closer to its liquid state. However, one of the reasons propane is so effective for an RV is because its boiling point is negative 44 degrees Fahrenheit, making it effective in cold weather. This is important because appliances burn vapor, not liquid fuel. So if it's negative 20 and snowing out, your furnace can still burn propane so your little tootsies stay toasty. All right, with the science out of the way, let's talk math. If we have a full 30 pound propane tank, you're looking at 24 pounds of propane, right? And 80% of 30 being 24. Our next step is to convert pounds of propane to BTUs, as most appliances are measured in BTUs per hour. So for this conversion, it's important to know that there are 21,548 BTUs per pound of propane. So if we multiply 24 pounds by 21,548, we get 517,152 BTUs. In a first glance, you're probably saying to yourself something like, well, Ian, that's a huge number. It sounds like I got enough propane to last me a year. But let me show you just how quickly it can go. Let's say your RV has a 30,000 BTU furnace. That means it's consuming 30,000 BTUs an hour that it's running. If we divide the 517,152 BTUs by the 30,000 BTUs, we get a little over 17 hours. So that big number we saw earlier translates into just 17 hours of your furnace running. And that's not including other propane burning appliances like the stove, oven, refrigerator, water heater, and outside grill. An on-demand water heater, for example, can be up to 60,000 BTUs an hour under peak loads. This is why I recommend carrying a spare propane tank if you can afford the space. And there you have it, folks. That's how you figure out how long your propane will last. So for a quick recap on the math, look at your propane tank label to calculate its 80% fill capacity. Take the pounds of propane in your tank, convert it to BTUs by multiplying by 21,548, and then divide that number by your appliance BTU usage, and you'll end up with usage hours. Now, I know you're not gonna calculate everything out to the exact minute, but hopefully this gives you a better understanding of how propane is consumed. Now, you can avoid running out of propane in the future by knowing your baseline propane usage. Click the thumbs up button if you agree. So if you've been in the unfortunate circumstance where you've run out of propane, as you can see, a propane leak is generally not the culprit. If you want complete confidence on how much propane you're working with, you can invest in a propane tank gauge like this one here. This inline propane gauge with built-in propane leak detector lets you know when your propane tank is running low. Thanks for joining me, folks. I'm Ian Baker. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and come back for more helpful tips and how-to information.